Hey guys, Dama here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous day today. Today's video is going to be one I'm very, very, very excited about. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill The Volt. And I am so excited because I absolutely love Jaclyn Hill. I mean, you guys know one of my favorite palettes is the first original Jaclyn Hill palette, which I still use all the time and can't manage to put it down. So when I knew she was coming out with more shades, I was super excited and so desperate for them to come out. The first time I came around, um, I unfortunately wasn't able to purchase it because they sold out so quickly. But this time, I got to get the new and improved uh, Volt collection. And today's video is going to be me using these right here to create a look. And I actually made a really good purchase at Morphe and I bought several goodies I got myself another beauty blender I got myself which I hadn't tried yet the Morphe continuous setting mist I had not tried this product yet so I will be trying it today and then I also got this Morphe grip I just thought it was so cute Okay, so before we dive in, I would like to say if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you'd like to join us, just hit that subscribe button in the bottom of the screen and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. If you like what you see, just give this video a big, big thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. And if you guys, like I've said in the past, if you have any comments, suggestions of any sort, you can leave them all in the comment box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, so let's just jump right in to the vault. I absolutely love this picture. It is so cute of Jaclyn Hill in the back of the um, packaging. It makes me want to use this lipstick that I had purchased by ColourPop. It's called Mama and it almost has like that red orangey shade kind of like the lipstick she's wearing. Okay, Ooh, the packaging is very very nice. It has all those pretty confetti colors. Anyways, and then it has like this little lip that you can pull and all the beautiful palettes come out. Okay, so she has four different palettes that come in here. Um, one is called Dark Magic, Armed Gorgeous, Bling Boss, and Ring the Alarm. The first one I pulled is Ring the Alarm. This one is the one that has, I would guess, more of a cranberry feel to it. It has like those pretty... Uh, berry colors in there. Okay, so all of these palettes come with 10 shades in them and this one in particular has, I don't know if they all do, but this one has five mattes and five shimmery colors. Then the next one is Bling Boss and this one is, oh this one has all the beautiful purple shades in here. These are some very pretty shades. And then the next one is Dark Magic. And this one was one of the ones I was most excited about getting because it has all those beautiful like fall Christmassy colors. And if you know me at all, you know I have a serious obsession with Christmas. Like this just fills my heart with such joy right here. Oh my God. And and I love using black and it is this palette has black so yes see myself there and then last but not least the one I was most excited about aside from the one that I will be definitely calling the Christmas palette not the dark magic palette is arms and gorgeous which is the one I think I'm more than likely will probably dive more into with colors and this one it's more of a warm tone palette which I absolutely love all warm tone palettes that's what I mostly go for it's what I like to wear all the time so I can't help myself and I'm going to start with Armed and Gorgeous and the first color I'm going to go into for transition is going to be Access it's this pretty like mustard yellow it's a very pretty color and I'm going to go in and with my Morphe M573 blending brush. I'm just gonna go dive right in there. Oh, look at that pigment, you guys. Okay, Jacqueline. Oh. 
Okay. Then the next color I'm going to dive into is going to be in the same palette, and I'm going to be using the color Secure. I'm just going to apply that right where we just applied the first transition shade, but bring that down a little lower. Oh my god, this color. So pretty. I'm going to pick up the palette Ring the Alarm and I'm going to go into the color Alert which is this um, orange shade right here. This is a very deep orange. Makes me think fall. So and I'm going to apply that just right in the center here. Now I'm going to pick up the Morphe R39 brush and continuing in Ring the Alarm, I'm going to go into this brownish shade here, Mugshot, and I'm just going to go ahead and tap it all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to go back to Armed and Gorgeous and I'm going to go into this dark brown here called Smooth Criminal. Using the same brush and this one, I'm just going to concentrate it just in the outer corner. I'm going to go back into the color Access very lightly and I'm just going to blend all those colors together again just so there are no harsh lines. I am so tempted, but I really want to make this eye look very green, like I really do, so. Armed and Gorgeous and Dark Magic, they both have very similar greens. See that? It's kind of hard to differentiate them, except I think one is more pale than the other. I'm going to go with Potion first and see how it looks. I'm going to use the same brush. Okay. Oh my god, this is more of a Christmassy green. That's so pretty. Okay, so then I'm going to try Top Secret on top of that. Because the green and dark magic, like I said, it's more Christmassy. And I want more of a dark green. Okay, yes, this one's much, much better. Mm, I don't know. Kind of thrown off by the green now. I don't know if I like it. It's not dark enough. Maybe I don't want to make it dark enough because I like the brown shades. Now I'm going to use my Glitter Glue by NYX Cosmetics, my glitter primer, and I'm just going to apply a little bit with my finger just in the center of my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my Morphe M421 brush. And I'm going to go into, like I said, that beautiful gold color I'm obsessed with right here in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And it's the color Coin. Okay, and then to blend that so there are no harsh edges, I'm going to go into this color called On Camera which is this mix here of like a gold and bronzy orangey shade from the Ring the Alarm palette. And using the same brush, I'm gonna go in there and then I'm just going to run it down the edges here. I'm going back in with alert this one right here with my big fluffy brush i'm just going to go around that so there are no harsh edges and i just did that dived in there very very light so i'm going to go ahead and add a wing liner and i'm going to go in with my sephora collection uh, liquid liner in the color neor
Okay, now I'm going to do my complexion real quick and my eyelashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so for the bottom lash line, I, I was thinking maybe I want to do a pop of color. So let's use a color out of Bling Boss for the bottom lash line. Um, let's see. I'm going to try out the color Sparks. Okay, and for that I'm going to be using the Morphe M506. Oh wow, that is beautiful and super, super pigmented. Okay, there we go. Apply some mascara in my bottom lash line. Maybe I'll, I'm going to go back to Armed and Gorgeous, of course, as expected. And I'm going to go into the color Girl Trip. Yeah, no, sorry, Guilt Trip. It sounded weird as Girl Trip. Using the Morphe M213, I'm going to go into my inner corner and my brow bone. Let's see. Very pretty pop right there. Come on, let me show you guys. And then I'm just going to also get this color on my nose. Girl trip. And use it as the highlight in my face. Okay, and for the lips, I think I mentioned this earlier. I kind of was inspired by her lips in this photo. So I'm going to go ahead and use the ColourPop Mamma Mia um, liquid lipstick. This is super intense orange and I love it. Okay, and last but not least, the Morphe Setting Spray Continuous Setting Mist. Let's see how this baby goes. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, wow. Mmm, that smells good. I almost taste it a little bit. It's not taste bad. This is good. Oh, I've never tried a setting spray that makes me want to keep spraying it on my face over and over again. That feels so good. Yes, highly recommend this. <laughs> okay, guys, and there we go. That is the final look. Um, I absolutely love this eye look right here. That green looks so good once it really blends in with those golden um shades and i feel like with the lip it totally ties the whole look together and i absolutely love 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 these palettes i can see myself using it over and over and over again and the fact that they have such a variety of colors very neutral warm tones cool tones for the holidays for seasons like makes this vault collection perfect to travel with it i mean the packaging the fact that it also brings a little box to put them all in is perfect it's very compact so you can fit it just about anywhere it's honestly inexpensive um you can buy the individual um palette of 10 shades for 15 dollars and then you can get the whole Volt collection for $49 and I definitely don't regret spending the money on this. I absolutely adore it and I can't wait to do more looks on this. So if you like this one and want to see more creations using this palette, maybe let's say I would say I would want to create one particularly with Dark Magic since I can do lots of fall Christmassy looks for that one and also um, I would say Bling Boss since I really didn't use it much. That's the one with all like the purpley shades in it. So let me know in the comment box down below if you guys want to see me create more looks using the Vault Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Continue enjoying your summer. Bye guys.